Hello everyone, welcome again on Data Analysis Using Stata. In this episode, I'll walk you through the process of merging two datasets. But before practice, we need to realize what the merging is and what kinds of merge we are capable of. Merge is used to combine two datasets based on a common identifier, typically referred as a key variable. One-to-one -one merge, each observation in the master dataset is matched to at most one observation in the using dataset. One-to-many merge, each observation in the master dataset is matched to one or more observations in the using dataset. Many-to-one, each observation in the master dataset is matched to one and only one observation in the using dataset. So these are the type of merge which we are going to hold here. Of course, there is another one which is many to many, but it's not too much applied on Stata. Stata recommend to use append, the command append, which we have learned on the previous video. Let's go to practice. For this episode, let's use the menu bar, but if you want to create your own do file, you can copy and paste the comments that will show up on the output window. So we have our Stata platform. Let's, for example, open uh, our data set. The first type of merge which we can handle is one-to-one. -one. So we have two data sets. We can consider this land as the master data set and third as the second or the using data set. So let's open the first one, which is the master data set. As you can see here, there are only three variables, and we can check, we can browse. We have 61 observations and three variables. Let's close and open the second one just to check. We still have also three variables and we still have the ID variable as the key variable for both data sets. Let's check. How is it? Okay, so here we have V2, but on the previous data set we have V1. So they are different variables that we want to merge. Okay, let's open again our master data set. We just land coming here on data on the menu bar we can come on combine data sets which we even we can find append data sets <laughs> but let's use merge two data sets and then just select it's already selected just select one to one on key variables what is the key variable which we have in common on both data sets ID and let's browse here the second data set which is third as we said before and then okay and we have seen that it's okay 61 observation have matched as I said before, if you want to create your do file, you can copy this command here and copy in your own do file. But this was the one-to-one -one merge. And we can check the data set. As you can see, now we have V1 and V2 on the same data set. And the variable which is automatically created, merge, to inform us which observation have match or not. But for this example, all the observation have matched. Now dealing with one too many, let's clean and open our second process. One too many, okay. The master here will be deferred. Let's see why. 
okay one too many we only have a few observations here and two variables let's open the second data set which is land and let's check we have okay three variables and we have 61 observations on the data sets so we want to merge both data sets okay let's clear and open our first or master which is third and coming here again combine data sets merge two data sets one too many this is the third option here the id is already selected now we must change browse okay don't trust on this window here uh, we must change on browse to select the second data set which do we want to merge with the first one then it's done now we can see that not matched 54 observations are not matched from master 0 from using 54 matched it's only seven observations let's check as you can see the seven observations which are matched this one is saying using only because these observations these values they are only located on the using data set on the second data set that's why it's coming here this observation using only that's why it's not matching with the master data set okay but if we don't want this missing values here and we don't want this information using only in our data set we can clean or manage our data set by saying keep if and copy this merge or the new variable merge is equal to 3 why is equal to 3 let me show you br match matched is 3 using only is 2 okay so that's why we are saying keep if merge is equal to 3 and voila 54 observations deleted let's check and now we only have here the seven observations which which are matched now let's perform many to one which is the opposite of one to many okay let's open and it's one now the master is land why there is many observations here and the second which is third has had a few observations so that's clear and open our master which is land and then come to data combine data set match two data sets many to one is the second option the id is already selected and now we can change here our second is third and then okay and now the result even is the opposite <laughs> as the previous one as you can see now from master we have 54 which are not matched and we continue matching 
only seven observations and we can check as you can see master only now the information of on the new this new variable merge is saying that only on master have some results or some values that's why master only pop up on this variable and matched again we only have seven and i have shown already how to deal with this missing values or with these values or observations which are not matched i'll let you do it by yourself to practice <laughs> dealing with merge is very important especially when we collect separately some data that we will need to use in the future it is not recommended to just copy and paste because this could create other issues during our data analysis process it is important to have a primary key that identify every single row within our data set don't forget that subscribing to my channel keeps me motivated and excited to upload more content thank you for watching and see you soon